Hello, hello. How are we doing today, Lori from Art Lore? So today is take two of um, a client that wants uh, brown, orange, yellow. Uh, I've added um, a couple other colors, some gold, a gold and a deeper orange. And I did um, a yellow, I did Naples yellow. And um, it just was, it did not show up. It, it turned out really pretty, but um, it'll be on my feed at some point in time because it really turned out pretty, but there's no yellow. So I changed the yellow and um, we'll, uh, I'll let you know what it is when I find out because I put it away and then I forgot what it was. I think it's the Lucas uh, cadmium yellow hue. That's exactly what it is. But uh, we're going to be doing a 12 by 24 gallery rack canvas for Michaels. I've got my pillow down, which is the PPG Multi Pro. And um, I will show you my colors as I do the blooms. Um, I'm going to do three blooms and I just hope that the yellow comes through today. I know the orange will and the gold, the brown always overtakes. So um, yeah, it's just, um, it's, I've been kind of um, off my game. I tend to do that from time to time. I don't know if it's the weather because our weather here in Michigan sucks. So um, it's been raining for 24 hours straight and it's cold and all my beautiful leaves are gone. So um, let's get down to the canvas. We're gonna make a mess and uh, let's do some blooms. All right, so I'm gonna drop you down so that, sorry for the jiggle jiggle. Um, I got a mess here because I was doing another uh, canvas and that one kind of didn't go as planned as well but I'm still going to put it on my feed. Okay, so let's do this. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, so I um, think I'm going to start with, um, oh, this one here. This is, um, this is uh, Liquitex. No, this is Lucas Vermilion. But what I did was I added Color Art uh, Persimmon to it. And then I added just a fleck of Burnt Sienna to get this beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous, uh, rusty color orange. So we're going to go right there and not be afraid of it because it is so, so pretty. My brown, is um, I tried to make my own brown and it did not go as planned. I looked it up and it said black and orange and it was green. So I didn't feel like fussing with it. So I did Van Dyke brown and then I did uh, burnt umber and I threw some of that in there. And that, um, I think this is a really pretty brown and I'm just going to go around it because a um, little drizzle. I don't want that to overtake because in the other one, it really took over. This one here is also the uh, vermilion and it's a little thick. And um, I added um, the persimmon, persimmon, the color art persimmon to this as well, but uh, I did not do the um, burnt sienna. I did not add that in there. That is still too thick. Doesn't take long. There we go. Okay, so now that still feels thick to me. Sorry. My room is really warm right now, so I'm wondering if it's a little bit too warm. It's at 70, but I have a little space heater in here. There we go, that's way better. And that's a really pretty orange. So we're going to go right there. This is uh, Extreme Art, uh, Extreme uh, Deco Art, 24 karat gold. And then I added Amsterdam, 
uh, deep gold to it to give it a really pretty gold. Um, can't have too much of that. This one here is the Lucas Cadmium Yellow Light Hue, and it is very yellow, but that's okay because we want to see yellow. So we're going to go right there. And then um, I also added in there um, Golden Iridescent Pearl Fine. Yep. So let's see. I want to... Um, boy, I think I'm just going to do a little tiny dollop of brown only because I don't want the black cell activator on top of the orange or the yellow. I have no idea how that's going to turn out. Okay, medium high fan, cool air. We're just not even going to go any further. I am not seeing yellow. I'm not seeing any of my colors. So we're just going to do this because that's the kind of mood I'm in today. And we are going to do that. And we're going to do that. Scoop this to the center. Wipe this off. And spread this out. And we're going to start right over. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave one out and I'm going to, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. we're going to start with the brown. Not a whole lot. Just a little tiny bit. Then I'm going to go um, ton of orange. Ton of yellow. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I don't care. We're doing the gold last. Let's see what happens. All right, so we got some yellow, but now we're missing a little bit of orange. So we're going to do this. Um, I am seeing brown in there, that's just fine. We're going to do this again. Not a whole lot of brown. And then 
going to go orange. Yellow. Orange. Gold. Okay, let me get my little straw. All right, so it didn't turn green. Um, I am seeing orange, I am seeing Brown and yellow. Okay, we're gonna do this again right here. A little bit of brown. Oh goodness. A lot of orange. A lot of yellow. Gold. Let's go, um, well, that's yellow, so we'll stay consistent. Orange. Yellow. Black. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's help this guy along right here. Sounds are kind of fun. 
They're like yellow, orange, gold, a little bit of black around them. Quite pretty. Kind of cute. All right, so it's not looking too bad. I do see yellow and I do see orange. And obviously there's brown. So I'm going to fill up my corners, check for threads on the side, and then I will be right back. Okie dokie, we're back. Um, I just scraped up a bunch of paint off the sides and kind of added it in there. So let's do this. Cells look really fun, um, really, really pretty. I do see my yellow and my orange, which I'm very happy with because the other one that I did for her did not have any yellow or bright orange in it at all. It just had the really dark stuff, the um, uh, persimmon with the um, vermilion and then the burnt sienna. It had that in there mostly. Um, Pretty, beautiful color, but if it's not what she wants, it's not what she wants. So, but I kept it, I didn't scrape it because it's pretty. All right, so we're going to go this way now. I probably, she needs two. I probably should do another one right away because if I don't, then I lose my mojo and then it won't, um, it won't flow with the other one. So this is gorgeous. I am so happy with it. Thank you, pouring gods. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so appreciative. Um, after my fail, my somewhat fail this morning, um, it's nice to have one that is not a fail, especially when it's a commission. All right, I just want to get these filled in right away. Sometimes the paint just will not stick. That looks really good there. And that looks good there. The only thing I don't like is that it's striped. So we're just gonna go right over that. This looks good. All right, we're going to spin again. I love this color palette. Okay. Um, Actually, what I want to do, um, because, boy, that um, persimmon with the uh, vermilion is just glistening. It's got a lot of, everything has a lot of sheen to it right now. It's just really pretty. Uh, yeah, we just, we need to spin again. So let's do this. We're going to go this way, just a little while. Oh yeah, that's so, so pretty. Um, something here I don't like though. I don't like this. I'm gonna wipe that off. Um, that needs to kind of trail off instead of being so rounded. And as well as here. There we go. Um, I love the demarcation. Pop this. I love the demarcation here between the two blooms. 
I like the demarcation here between these two blooms uh, because it's not ob obtrusive. It's just not, you know, um, big gaps. Didn't get the big gaps sometimes like I do. Um, yes, I'm very, very happy with this. Let's check again because I did spin. And we need to do it again because there is a lot of paint on there. So let's go in this direction. I may have put a little bit too much pillow. I need to measure more, I think. I just glug it on and then I and then it's glugged on and it's like it's like too much. All right. So for the most part, um, I think I'm going to stop. That looks better. That looks better. Um, I don't see any other spots that I want to change. Let's just see what we got here. Oh yeah, we can stop. All right. Break my sides real quick, and then I'm taking you down. Even the, uh, even my spinner looks really pretty with the um, spin off. Okay, we're gonna go for right that direction. Yes, it looks really pretty. Okay, and then the next one I do, I'll post them together. Um, when, after I'll do like the last bloom and then I'll spin and show the results that way. Isn't that pretty? And we have our center bloom with yellow. Hello, yellow. And we did lose the one edge, the center of this top bloom, but that's okay. Love this. Got to grab my phone really tight. Love this section here with these little, I love those little cells. Really pretty. So there you have it. So stay tuned for part two of the second one. And um, I'll have them side by side at the end of the video. Thank you so much. And we shall see you in a minute. Okie dokie, we're back with the second one. Um, seeing some yellow and seeing some orange, not nearly as much yellow as the other one. But um, I have my corners covered. That's a little too fast. Um, I feel like one of my colors, the it was a little bit thin. So um, some of my cells are not as uh, round as they should be. But I think for the most part, uh, if we spin slow, I think they'll be okay. Um, it's this one right here. Um, I forgot which one, but I kept adding a little bit of color and I thought it was okay. And then once I got it on the paint, on the canvas, I realized, no, it's not okay. It is what it is, you know, I can't change it now. Uh, this needs to come off. This I'd like to have filled in as well as this. Um, let's go this way with it. Um, it's pretty. I think it'll pair really well. I'm not sure what room she's putting, put, putting them in. Can't talk. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure they're going next to each other. Um, and you're not going to get them exact anyway. Uh, but I think for the most part, I think they'll be really pretty together. So let's see what we have here. I'm thinking. Not real crazy about this. Okay, so I don't like it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, because this I can stretch out, I'm gonna add another um, little puddle of paint right here, and we are going to tilt.
All right. Do I want another one here? I don't think I need one. I think I can get by with stretching that out. Okay, let's see what we got here. I know I have a mess. I can tell you that much. So, oh, break the seal. All right, we're just going to go this direction and see what happens. This side's not moving at all, so I may have to do that side as well or scrape this whole thing entirely. Okay, there is so much paint on here. Oh my goodness. But it looks pretty now, better than what it did. So, all right, so let's give that a second or two. I'm going to uh, clean up my paints. And then we're going to spin. Okie doke, moment of truth. Here we go, we're going to spin. Not a whole lot. I kind of see some spots though that I don't really like already. Um, hold on, I've just got to stop this one second and check something out here. Because I don't like that. Let's see. I think that's okay, because that's going to come off anyway. Okay, so let's do this again. Well, we're going to go this way. I may be here until tomorrow spinning this. Slow it down a little bit. There we go. way better. I have a bloom now. Before it was just a squished, uh, it would have been perfect for tilting, but this didn't have enough paint. This had, um, I didn't do enough paint 
uh, because I added a I added another puddle to do a tilting, and everything I did was wrong. So, um, just decided to do the whole thing over, and um, I do see some white dots here, which I don't like. So I just want to quickly take care of those before I spin again. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. Well, what do you know? Okay, let's do this. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I am happy as a gopher in dirt. Yes, yes, and yes way better um uh, i can see the orange i can see the yellow i can see the bloom um you know i think for the most part when i make mistakes and i screw up and i have um the key i think well not i think the key i know is what to do in order to fix it and i'm not quite there yet but today I feel like I succeeded that because I thought about it and went for it and it took me three times to get here, but I got here. And um, I think that's where a lot of my frustration is, is when I make a mistake and it doesn't turn out the way I want it to. Well, then what? Then what do you do? What do you do with it all? So um, I feel like today was a huge learning curve for me. Um, I feel pretty darn good about um, succeeding with um, fixing uh, the, the the blunders, and um, they were pretty bad, but um, got through it, and I don't know why I just did that, but I put black on that corner, and that looks ridiculous, um, so I'm taking that off. I'm going to scoop up some of this and go right over it. There we go. Scoop a little bit of that up. There, that's way better. Okay, so anyway, that's it in a nutshell. I am very, very happy with this one. Um, so I'm, I feel like I'm kind of growing even more so learning how to fix mistakes and um yes so i'm going to take you down and let you see the results and i think the two together will pair very well okay so there is the bottom bloom very pretty lots of shimmer in that lower right corner and yay, the center bloom, it looks wonderful. And those cells are so cool. Yes, and there is the top bloom, which we did lose the center, but you know what? I'm consistent, so there you go. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, this was a huge learning curve for me. Thank you for your patience. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe and share my video. And until next time, bye.